In 2017, my former business partner opened a pair of bottle shops. Um, and then we expanded and grew into this space. Graduated, is what I like to say, we graduated into this space. a bar and you see, I have 57 taps. You walk up and you see a list that's that full. It doesn't matter how well you know beer, it's going to take you a minute to look at that. But if you don't know beer millet very well, or you only know a few brands, it's going to be a little overwhelming and you might not know what it is about a beer that you like. So when many people of color and women approach a bar, they walk up without the knowledge and they feel intimidated in asking the questions. And a lot of times they don't know what questions to ask. So if we can help to inform our customers what it is that they like or help them to try something new without judgment, it helps them to understand what it is that they enjoy and feel confident the next time they walk up to a bar they don't. Part of it too is that of our bar staff, you have Kenzie and I who are military spouses, and then you have Haley who is a veteran. So you have that as like more than those five of us. All five of us love to travel. All five of us are very traveled. So when someone walks in the door, the first thing that we're gonna have in common with them is that we've probably been where they're from, or we've probably been somewhere that they've been, or we enjoy a sporting team that they enjoy. We have a lot of military in our neighborhood. So when they come through and we welcome them home or we remind them that we are better known and we are here to support our community, that they feel more comfortable. So I tease all the time, like the other day we were sitting here and I said, look, everyone at the bar is Navy right now. So uh, tell us about Doptoberfest. Uh, so Doptoberfest was the Marzen that Crowns and Hops put out this year. They said they wanted to do something with Oktoberfest, but they wanted their community to feel included in Oktoberfest, even though it's traditionally not celebrated. Woman, veteran-owned company out of Inglewood, California. Teo and Benny started out going out, trying different beers, and they realized everywhere they went in the craft beer community, they felt that they didn't see any other black people and they didn't understand why, because as they say, black people love beer. So they started producing beer for the people and making sure that people knew that it was inclusive and that everyone was invited to enjoy their beer. Now this is the last flag that flew on the HMS Life. So you have patches from not just U.S. military, from overseas military. Yeah, they do. Um, up on the wall, we have Patches from um, the Royal Army and the Royal Navy. I'm pretty sure we've got Royal Aviators up there from the UK. And then a friend of mine is a Finnish Marine, so we have his unit patches up there as well. So I started coming to San Diego to visit my friend. She lived in Oceanside and we would go down to Pizza Port in Carlsbad uh, back when Jeff Baggy was a hip brewer. And it was always such a welcoming environment. They had Mel Pierce behind the beer, or bar. They had uh, Baggy making the best beers they may have ever made. And uh, they were always happy to explain why the beer tasted like it did, or what it was about the beer that maybe you were tasting. How we really feel confident in asking questions instead of shutting down. I do want to say you had asked about San Diego craft beer and what was it about San Diego craft beer. Uh, so to me, San Diego craft beer is such a familiar community. Like if anyone needs anything, they'll ask each other and someone will be there to help them. Uh, there's no animosity or competition that's anything more than friendly. Um, when we were at GBF, we watched many San Diego breweries bring back medals and no one was like envious or upset that they didn't win. Everyone was just excited for those that did. Um, and we'll continue to celebrate that for the next year until we go back. I think like the cleanest American like Chuck Hills. That's funny. 
So my neighborhood friends, I love them all. I know them when they come in. Most of them drag their owners down the street to get over here just to say hello. Hi. It's always fun to like share with your other customers how much you love their dogs and all of our little neighborhood friends. San Diego Beer Week starts today. There's a countywide toast at seven o'clock tonight. And then for the next eight days, it's just everybody showcasing what they love about beer, uh, different ways to appreciate beer. There'll be beer and donut pairings. There'll be beer dinners. There'll be flights and tap takeovers. Um, just a little bit of everything that is San Diego craft.